over 100 reasons why you have to pray as a believer. Number five, because the word of God assures us that through prayer, we can receive forgiveness of sins. Because the word of God assures us that through prayer, we can receive forgiveness of sins. Or through prayer, we can be pardoned from every error and from all our mistakes. First John chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is a propitiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And so God is saying that Jesus Christ has become the propitiation for our sin. He has become our advocate and is interceding on our behalf. Now, I don't wish that you will sin and I don't wish that anyone will continue in error. But what it means is that we are born into this kingdom as babes. The Bible says, as newborn baby desire the sincere milk of the word that ye should grow. And as babes, we are learning how to talk, we are learning how to do things. And by learning how to talk and learning how to do things, learning how to speak, learning how to walk with God, we might make mistakes, we might commit errors. And God is saying that we can come to him and receive forgiveness of sins anytime we make mistakes. Amen. Why is it like that? Because what authenticates that you are your father's biological child is his blood that flows through you. And that blood can never be taken away. And so when you sin against your biological father or your father on earth, it doesn't mean that you are not his child. You only have to go and ask for forgiveness of sins and then your sins will be forgiven because the blood is so true you and it is the blood that authenticates that you are his child. The same thing to the one that has received Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior. Christ comes to dwell in you. It can never be taken away. When you sin, it doesn't mean that God has rejected you. God has not rejected you. But now, your relationship with God is breached. If there are so many things in, the, in his house that he will not entrust into your hands. Because the Bible says uh, in 2 Timothy 2.20, that in a great house there are many vessels, and there are vessels of gold, vessels of wood, vessels of clay, some to be honored and some to be dishonored. If a man purges himself, he will be, he will be used by the Father. And so there are certain things that God will not give to you if you continue in sin. And so he has given room for the forgiveness of sin, and it is only found on the platform of prayer. And so when you sin, you go to God in prayer, and you ask that, Father, please forgive me and he forgives you. God is not against you. All that you have to do as a believer is come to him and receive forgiveness of sins. John chapter 1 verse 9 also says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He, I hope this makes sense to you. Kindly follow, like, and share for more inspiring and amazing videos.